be great, baby. It's gonna be great.
Malachi Thomas.
size, knocking down some open shots. I mean, we rebounded, we rebounded with, we've been doing this all year. Just four, even guys have four inches on us, five inches, and we just go out there and compete, compete every game. That's why we're here. Coach, tell us about a, a great game for, for that game because of the fact that the team won't be on top of that. You experienced something very much in your life. Coming into the championship game today, can you tell us your feelings on? I mean, it's, it's been it's been crazy, you know. Uh, I was down here Monday, uh, you know, we're in the hotel, you know, actually getting ready for that game that day, getting ready to go to shoot around, and you know, uh, I, I kind of try to prepare these guys for everything, my coaches as well. So throughout the season, I mean, I always told them like, hey, it could be first quarter, you know, six six, if, if my phone go off. I'm gonna sprint off the floor. You know, I just I preach, I preach to these guys like these are not just my players. This is family. So I, I try to instill in them too, like families first. You know, I mean, I love basketball to death. I, I would do it every single day. Uh, but you know, I, I wasn't missing. You know, my, my baby girl being born. And then I also knew my coaches. I knew the team that I had. That you know, they still be ready to play. They still get it. They'll still get the job done. So. Uh, it was a little nerve-wracking, you know, I'm sitting in the room and my wife in labor and I got the phone in the other hand and I'm watching, I'm watching the game and I'm waiting on the baby to get here. But at the same time, uh, you know, I wouldn't change it for nothing. Uh, and then they knew too that I wasn't missing the day. Uh, my wife, she, she's at home watching the game as well, you know. Uh, we got cleared and got released out of the hospital yesterday morning, had practice, and then we came right down here. I hadn't been in my house in like a week. You know, uh, for about 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's just been us. That's been this season. It's been it's been crazy, but at the same time, I wouldn't change nothing because the experiences that these guys get, uh, it's gonna last way past basketball. You know, they'll be able. They're gonna wake up tomorrow, and they're gonna they're gonna get to work and whatever they're gonna do. Uh, and and if they can do that after facing defeat, then I'm okay. I'm good with you know my job as a coach. So well, you know, originally, and I didn't, and I didn't know this. Um, originally, with my assistant coaches were going to coach, but you know, we found out that you had to be a faculty coach. So I mean, I mean, I, I, I said it to the papers then, like, you know, if I got a, a, a principal or superintendent, got to fill in. You know, I'm gonna take Chad the guy over anybody just because of, you know, his resume as a basketball coach. Uh, but I was confident that these guys would get the job done. Any more questions? All the time. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, Coach. It was tough. I knew it was going to be a dog fight. I mean, we had been hitting on all cylinders for about five weeks now. And I said everybody was hitting the bench, the starters. Chris and Cannon was marvelous. And so sometimes you run into a game where you know, it just doesn't go your way all the time. But we hung our hat on defense. Um, I, I think, just go back to me, I think we made a commitment to being excellent at the beginning of the season, and we stuck to it. You know, we had a chance to, you know, I thought knock them out early on and be up. We held them two points for about a quarter and a half and just couldn't put them away because they're a good team. So, you know, I thought we were resilient and we were able to just play Good enough defense to where we made it life tough for them and the whole game. Well, we squandered a lot of opportunities. Chris missed a lot to tie. He probably could have caught it and just finished it. And we all come back, put him in the game, see the leadership, and he throws a lot. And those plays are backbreakers. If you score, then your game's out of reach. But you kept giving them life. And anytime you give a team that as hungry as this, and well coaches is big, does a great job of going back. You give them life, you know, you get a chance. But I, they responded like, like they always responded. I, um, I just thought we made enough plays. And I, to be honest with you, we needed Todd to play well. We challenged him, and at halftime, to come out and get some easy baskets. And we did. That made it a lot easier for us to breathe a little bit and get a little cushion. And then these two guys took us home. And so that was, that was important for the group. What was the message in the Well, I, I knew we weren't going to knock it. We had a chance, but I knew 
that probably wasn't going to happen. Just you know, a lot's been going on. We've been, we never talked about these two last game, we've seen his last game. But I thought tonight, you know, we caught up with them a little bit. I thought they were a little tight. I thought we made some uncharacteristic freshman type mistakes that teams don't make. Um, but at the, at the end of the day, the message just was, let's get off to a good start. The half is over. The objective is to win the game. Um, it wasn't pretty, but we had enough cushion to withstand the run. Our motto was basically to try to, we, we treat this like a road game, and you want to be up plus 10 to withstand any run. I don't think we're going to turn the ball over six, seven times in a row. Not with this group, but we did two or three, which, you know, but they didn't score every time. And so the message just was to get Todd going, and we had to score on the inside because the shots stopped going in um, in the first half. We weren't in sync, we weren't in rhythm. And credit to Calvary, though. They did a good job switching up defenses, jumping it up a little bit. But I thought we were able to do that. Third quarter, you guys all scored. We made a point. I, mean, I put Chris on the baseline, a bigger player, we ran a little zone offense where we could run along the baseline. Chris Lehman made some good decisions. He flashed to the middle, he drove. And one time, Ty got it and pitched it to Chris in the corner. I thought we finally got a little bit of a rhythm. Um, and I, I thought that was the difference in the game. I think. To me, I mean, I, I start, like I said, I start the season off with a moniker and try to, you know, make these guys look at it every day. And once you become committed to being excellent, sometimes it ain't going to work all the time, but it becomes habit, right? And it's become habit for these two guys and this team and the program to where we expect to play well. And even if we don't play our best, we're savvy enough veterans that have been around and they've been to the semifinals and three finals, these guys. So, they understand what it takes and what winning looks like. And this was happy to see these guys finish on an incredible high note. They set the, the, the bar high for the guys behind them. They have. And, uh, we're excited. Uh, I'm excited for these guys and their future. Chris, again, uh, any of your thoughts that the teammate that last season you got this year, he, he gets the most outstanding? Um, I just feel like if we was on a different team, we would both be averaging 30 like close in on Tuesday. So I just feel like we both the best player on the team. Just you know, some days he the best, and I have to back him up and get in a different role. Uh, some days I'm the best and be in a different role. But I just feel like we just rub off each other and we just communicate. You know, beginning of the season, people might think it was you know a puzzle piece that couldn't fit, but we just made it work and just talked off the court and just try to finish off on the right note because we grew up together and we just wanted to win. Yeah, um, yeah, it was definitely special. Like this year. Um, him, just this game, me, I was struggling the first half off, especially first quarter, and him just um, keeping the team together, making the small plays, extra pass. He was, he kind of kept us in there first half when I was pretty much out of it. And then uh, we just came together the second half, both of us, and just finished off the game the right way. But yeah, it's definitely been a great four years. Since I've had him, I've had him since eighth grade, I've had him since eighth grade, four years. He planted seeds in the guys. How you want them to play, where you want them in basketball, what it's like. And, you know, guys, young men mature at different times. I, I think their maturation level this season, especially in the last six weeks, five weeks, was paramount and was awesome. It set the standard for the guys behind them to understand that. And it's, it's tough. Like you said, they need to be scoring 30 at different schools. So we're about winning, about playing the right way. They will both go on and play college basketball, and wherever they go, I guarantee you, and hopefully God bless me to be back here another year. We'll be in the same conversation, and the conversation will be about Chris Lockett and Cannon knows how to play basketball. They play it the right way, they're winners. That's what it's all about, and you know, hats off to these two guys, these special guys. They, all, they understand what this is about. They leave here better men than when they came in, and they're better basketball players. And people have no idea how good they're going to be in college. Of course, that can play players. They're special. I mean, Coach Trapp just walked in and said, hey, let's get a curtain call for the seniors. Got a chance to put Paul in, give them a chance to be on the court for the state championship. Got to put them all back in. For these guys to come out and just have that moment with them, um, you know, they'll remember it for the rest of their life. And, man, to win a championship on any level is special. 
we go back to back, man. You know we're in the top, you know, top seed, one of the best teams in the state. But for me, I feel like we're the best team in the state, regardless of the class. But for these guys to hold that mantle all year long, I think they got bored with it for a little bit for about three weeks, and then we got punched in them out there in the middle. Last breath, Liberty, Scottsdale, but then they recovered. Like, we could have easily folded that during that time, but they, they understood what this was about. Uh, Chris and Cannon. Uh, um, it's special. I mean, you know, for especially like the senior groups. You know, we added Law my junior year. We added Paul my sophomore year. So it was just you know getting new guys and knowing Cannon since seven years old. It was just pretty special, and, you know, and just getting one as well. Yeah, um, walking off is just just jobs finished. Just did everything we needed to do. Finish it the right way, and I mean, we, we handled business and just walked out with a W. Uh, Chris and Cannon, I know uh, Coach kind of mentioned it, but like, uh, you know, y'all had a lot of ex expectations this year. So, like, was it some, somewhat of a relief, you know, to get the win here? Or, like, what was just kind of y'all feelings, you know, once the, uh, you know, the buzzer kind of sounded right there? Yeah, well, it was for Coach. It was definitely a relief. Yeah, it was definitely a relief. I mean, you know, it was the championship of us, you know, that, more nonetheless. So, we know how much work we put in, and we were just um, we were just determined about it. You know, Todd, we picked up for him, Lehman, we just. Stayed on them to, you know, build their confidence a lot. They still don't keep shooting the ball. So we just, we're just confident in you know, our role players. Yeah, um, yeah, it's always a relief at the end of the season. I mean, hoisting up the trophy, knowing all the work you put in off season, preseason, just all the work you always put in, especially with us. We're just doing a bunch of, who, uh, a bunch of stuff always in the off season. Just hoisting up the trophy at the end, always, you know, it, it came to something that we did it the right way. And, we finished out with something. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you.